What's up, YouTube? It's J-Man and me, the Jokester, and we're back once again to read another episode from Jason's unproduced television masterpiece, The Kooplings and Bowser Jr. Show, which is a prequel to all the Super Mario Brothers media, and it follows Bowser's children, the Kooplings and Bowser Jr., before they were evil. And if you've been watching us for, uh, for a little bit, you know that um, Jason's written about five seasons of this already. There's, there's over 100 episodes. The Koopalings have had a lot of crazy adventures. They've gone to the moon. They've gone to China. Um, and in this episode, Morton is once again going back to court. Morton Cooper Jr. Uh, I, am I getting all this right, buddy? Episode 8 of Season 5, and it's called Morton Goes to the Animal Court, and it's uh, it, it's sort of a part 2 of the, the previous episode. Morton uh, killed and ate uh, Bowser Jr.'s pet snake, a uh, Niololin, which is a snake from, I guess, Super Mario Land? Yeah. So Bowser... Junior had this pet snake, Niola Lynn, and Morton, who is a crass idiot and a fool, killed it and ate it. Um, and now he's going on trial. So, but we pick up uh, in the middle of, uh, <laughs> the episode actually starts in the middle of Bowser Jr. discovering <laughs> that uh, Morton has eaten his pet snake. So Morton says, I'll save the rest of this meat for later. And Bowser Jr. is throwing a huge tantrum because he can't believe that Morton ate his snake. So their sister Wendy says, What have you done, Morton? I'm calling the police. Uh, Morton lays down on his bed, and suddenly the police come in and handcuff him. Morton does not acknowledge the police at all, so he's a little being a little tough guy. Uh, the police bring Morton to court. Now, when you say the police come to arrest Morton, is it the police police or is it the animal control officers? Uh, the animal control officers. Kooplings are animals themselves, so is this really an animal issue or is it murder? Yeah. <laughs> murder. Cap. Okay. Even though Junior was keeping it as a pet, I don't, you know, it, it makes my head hurt to think about it. I'll just read the story as you've written it. It's your vision. So the police bring Morton to court. And Junior says, well, we're back at court again. And now we'll present me, the lawyer, the copper, the jury, and the judge. <laughs> <laughs> I guess court's starting. Uh, Junior has the leftover snake meat, and the entire jury... It's made up of Niola lens. It's made up of the same snake that was Junior's pet, which is interesting. So does this mean if the entire jury is made up of these snakes, these can these snakes talk and think like, like right, like all the other characters? Can like can a Niola Lynn talk? Yeah. Okay. So Junior goes up to the jury and says, here you go, jury, this is the proof. This is snake meat. Morton says, what is this all about again? I forgot. <laughs> Junior says, you ate my pet. Then uh, the copper says, oh, wait, I almost forgot. We present the Honorable Judge Cooper. So this is, uh, you mean the copper, you mean the bailiff. And Judge Cooper bangs his gavel and says, order, order, who's the witness here? It was Morton, Your Honor, said Junior. And Morton says, listen, I just found a green Niola Lynn, and I killed it, and I ate it. Junior, you are probably just being a big baby. Wendy yells, shut up, Morton. You ate Junior's pet. This is an, this quorum's already out of control. People are screaming and yelling at each other back and forth. Now, Morton says to himself in a, in a dreamy tone, he says, Super Morton. So I guess he's imagining becoming Super Morton and flying away from all this madness. Uh, meanwhile, back at the Koopaling house, Bowser Sr. says, Where did Morton go? Oh no, he's lost. Honey, we gotta put up flyers everywhere. You know what? Uh, we gotta, wait, well wait a minute. We're not gonna put up flyers because I just realized he might actually have just gone outside. 
Bowser is turning into a real idiot uh, in this series. He used to be very smart and a, was a great father, and now he's he's mm-hmm. a, little, a little bit of a Homer Simpson thing happening. He's kind of getting dumber and dumber. Uh, back at court, Morton is picking his nose, and he says, I love wallabies. Hey, Joy, Roy says, I. Oh, he says that he like he's like he's not paying attention. Like, I love wallabies. <laughs> Morton's checking out of this. Judge Cooper says, Morton, pay attention. Are you sure this is not a school? Says Morton. <laughs> Junior says, No, and this is all your fault. Judge Cooper says, So this means Morton, you're going to go to jail to pay for your crimes. Morton says, Okay, I shall, and I'll do some new activities. <laughs> um. So everyone goes back home, except Morton. Morton goes to jail. And then uh, Junior says, you know, I do miss Morton, but I also miss my pet. Bowser says, hey, Junior, what happened to Morton? Uh, what happened to Morton? And Junior says, he's in jail. And Bowser says, what? what? Morton's in jail, honey. <laughs> Morton's in jail. We ought to do something. One, uh, no, this, is, this, this is the second time Morton's been to court. <laughs> The second time he's gone to jail, and this is the second time Bowser had no idea it was happening. <laughs> there are some communication problems in this family. <laughs> so, <laughs> Bowser and his wife, Bowsette, go over to the court. <laughs> and Bowsette knocks down <laughs> Judge Cooper with a frying pan. And Bowser <laughs> breathes fire on the jury. And the jury, <laughs> the entire jury, <laughs> turns to snake meat. The entire jury turns to snake meat. <laughs> This is not how you solve your problems, by the way. Like hitting people with fire pans and burying them alive. And Bowser says, don't worry, Morton. We're going to break you out of here. Bowser steals Judge Cooper's keys. Ooh, a prison break, says Morton. Uh, they all run out of the building. Judge Cooper runs out as well, and then the entire courthouse explodes. <laughs> Morton says, thank you, guys. Now I can go eat some <laughs> danishes. The end. So, the Kooplings are kind of starting to turn evil. They're blowing up prisons. <laughs> and, uh, you know, is this kind of what starts them on their path to becoming the evil uh, enemy of Mario and Luigi? <laughs> No, these are completely unrelated <laughs> crimes. Is Morton ever going to go back to court? Can you tell us, is he ever going to get in trouble with the law again? Or is he going to try to be on the straight and narrow until Mario and Luigi show up? <coughs> oh, my God. Well, there you have it, folks. Yeah, also let us know in the comments if you have ever had your pet snake eaten by your brother who you then uh, prosecuted in a courtroom and sent to jail. Bye. 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 I love you. <laughs> Silence. I give you the jury of the damned. Benedict Arnold, Lizzie Borden, Richard Nixon. But I'm not dead yet. In fact, I just wrote an article for Redbook. Hey, listen, I did a favor for you. Yes, master.